There we go. The game just started, but I've managed to grab Peter, who's the founder of RecLink. Uh, how are you feeling? Oh, we're just thrilled that it's back on. It's just the excitement and colour and the sense of theatre. It's such a unique and special event, and it means uh, so much to us. I just spoke to the players in the room, and um, I said, you know, what have many of our uh, people who are experiencing all forms of disadvantage play a lot of midweek uh, midweek football? And uh, one of the players um, described. Uh, what he got out of it, so who'd suffered from drug addiction, is a clean rush that's real. And I said, today, you know, even though they'll get a lot of bumps and, um, you know, they'll experience their bodies working, they'll experience the excitement. It'll be tough. Yeah, it'll be tough, but um, just the sheer enjoyment that the game provides as well. And uh, we try and, through the vehicle of the game and sports generally, yeah. bring, you know, uh, opportunity and hope and. Um, um, community, yeah, health community, through community, think, yeah, health through community, yeah. I mean, I've talked a lot about today how I think community is a real winner at the end of the day, and this, this, you know, the community cup is such an iconic part of of Melbourne and also now uh, across Australia. So, uh, congratulations on all the work you've done, and I hope you're really proud. Yeah, yeah, we are, Geraldine. Just a comment I'd like to make: 32 years ago, uh, when I started this in the streets of St Kilda. Um, we identified the mission that there was something missing in welfare um, and that people needed to be sort of taken from deep isolation into community. Now it's a national conversation because of the coronavirus and people have experienced a lot of the um, uh, a lot of the challenges that have come out of that around depression etc so yes yeah. so um, to have community events like this um, is great for people generally as well. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you going for today? Thanks, Geraldine. Uh, I always try and uh, sit on the fence. I like both uh, sides, but I was introduced to the Rock Dogs first in St Kilda because they uh, their crew used to do little fundraisers. In those days, it was Sacred Heart Mission yes. as a recipient charity, uh, and now it's Recklink, but they used to call it Sacred Heart Recklink. Uh -huh. So in a I remember kind, that, yeah. kind of a way, it's come back to its um, done the full full, full circle. Done the full circle. If I can get away with saying that, yeah. but I know it meant a lot to Sacred Heart in their time, and it yeah. certainly means a lot to Recklink Australia. Um, uh, you know, it, 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 it's a right. it's our biggest fundraiser. It means, yeah. it means an enormous amount, Geraldine. It's, yeah. it's an exciting game, as we can hear from the crowd. So we better get to it and start watching. We better get out there and enjoy it. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks. thanks for your time, Geraldine. Oh, thank you. Thanks and, for talking and for to you. Channel um, 31 have been particularly kind to Reclink Australia. They've really got, they clearly believe in what we're about and what we bring. <laughs> and um, and they've been incredibly good to us. So we, we value that highly. And we hear all around the community. A lot of people must watch you because I hear all over the community, they hear our commercials. So. Um, Congratulations on the following you've built up and the, and the in-depth and range of programming. So congratulations. Excellent. Great talking to you. Thanks, Geraldine. Cheers.